Hi, I'm Melanie from Female Fitness Systems, and today we're talking about supplements to help you build muscle after 40. So just some very quick background for those of you who don't know. About 10 months ago, I had a major surgery and then I've had a really stressful year, which has meant that I can't train as hard as normal. Now that I'm in a better place and I have more energy, I wanna to try to put that muscle back on. So I'm really focused on my nutrition and my supplementation to help me out. And what I thought I'd do today is run you through what I'm doing. Before we get into it, I wanted to remind you that I regularly release videos here here on YouTube on fitness, nutrition, and longevity. So if you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you catch future videos from me. So jumping right in, the first supplement that I wanted to talk about is protein powder. And this is probably the most obvious supplement because pretty much everybody who's trying to build muscle will use protein powder. And there are a couple of things that I think are quite relevant to women over 40, and that's what I wanted to talk about today. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is the reason that I often recommend protein powder to my clients. And that's because I see a lot of ladies these days who are eating more plant-based, who are quite concerned about their health and inflammation and that sort of thing, myself included. And if you're eating more plant-based things like beans and tofu, they don't quite add up to the same amount of protein as if you were following a more animal-based diet, things like meat and eggs and those sorts of things. And so at the end of the day, you can fall short of your protein requirements and a really easy way to hit them is to include protein powder. The second thing that I wanted to talk about is that the research suggests that as we get older, we need more protein and the protein will help prevent things like age-related muscle loss and it will help with bone health and skin health and all those sorts of things. So the experts in the field of protein and aging suggest that we get around 1.2 to 2 grams per kilogram of body weight per day of protein. Now these studies focus on people over 65 and they compare them usually with younger adults who are around 30 years old from what I can tell from what I've read. There seems to be a gap in the research of women in their mid 40s, you know, and going on into menopause. But it makes a lot of sense that as we get older, and especially as our estrogen starts dropping, which can impact bone health and muscle building abilities, that we would need more protein around this time in our life. And then the third thing that I just wanted to mention that is not as well known to the average person looking to build muscle is that certain types of protein are known to have a more optimal amino acid composition for building muscle. In particular, things like eggs and whey protein are very highly regarded when it comes to building muscle. And so if you are in your 40s and you're looking for a bit of an edge, it makes sense that you might want to include these types of protein more in your diet. And in fact, for me, I've been using whey protein for exactly that reason. So how much protein overall? Well, you can use that calculation that I just gave you that 1.2 to 2 grams per kilogram of body weight, but I usually keep it more simple and I recommend to my clients 100 grams of protein per day. If you eat four times a day, that means 25 grams of protein per meal. It's really easy to remember. The one thing that I would say though is that it's very important that you get that 25 grams, even possibly slightly more, so 25 to 30 grams after a workout if you're trying to build muscle. So let's say you train mid-morning, then just make sure that your lunch is within about an hour of working out and you have a really high protein meal. And in fact, that's exactly the way that I use my protein powder. So I train around noon and then I come home and I have a late lunch and I usually, rather than cooking up chicken or something like that, will have a big protein shake for dessert. And as I mentioned, I am using more whey protein now and whey protein sort of has a dairy-like taste that I'm not entirely crazy about. And so what I do with my post-workout shake is I usually go half plant protein and then half whey protein. So I'll just mix them up half and half. The next supplement that I wanted to talk about is creatine. Creatine is a really cool supplement because not only will it help you build muscle, but it has some longevity benefits as well. That's why I think it's a great supplement for women in their 40s to consider. 
So it's a really common supplement in the fitness industry because it's known to do things like increase energy production, increase muscle protein synthesis, and have some anti-inflammatory effects. Basically, the idea is that if you're taking creatine, you'll be able to train harder and longer, which of course means you'll build more muscle. And then as I mentioned, it has some longevity benefits as well. So it's thought to do things like help slow cognitive decline, it might help heart health, and it might help with bone health as well. So all very relevant things when you're a woman in your 40s. Creatine is something that you can take all of the time. It's a very safe supplement. The usual practice is to either load it, which means that you take a higher dose of it, about 15 grams to 20 grams per day for a couple of weeks, and then you drop down to five grams, or you can just take about five grams per day and just keep taking that. And over time, it builds up in your system and you'll see more benefits from it. Now, one of the things about creatine that makes me hesitant to recommend it to women over 40 is that it can make you gain a little bit of weight and a lot of women in their 40s are quite nervous about gaining weight. The reason it does that is that it can make your muscles hold more water and so it makes your mu muscles look more full, which is my favorite thing about creatine. I feel like I have more well-defined muscles when I'm taking it. But if you're somebody who's nervous about gaining weight, then it might not be the supplement for you. The next supplement I wanna talk about is curcumin. And I'm actually gonna talk about curcumin and fish oil together. I recently actually did a video talking about these two supplements and their anti-inflammatory effects. And that's exactly the reason that I'm recommending them as part of a muscle building supplement protocol over 40. Obviously over 40, things get harder. Unfortunately, I wish it wasn't so, but you know we experience things like joint pain and muscle soreness. And I think those things can get a lot worse depending on where we're at in our life. If we're in a really stressful period, those sorts of things. And definitely for me, I'm having a little bit more joint pain than normal, particularly in my elbows. And I think that's just coming out of this stressful period, my body's just still dealing with a lot of lingering inflammation. And so for me, part of my muscle building protocol at the moment is curcumin and fish oil. I'll talk about the fish oil in a minute. Curcumin is well known for its anti-inflammatory effects and it's quite a common supplement that's recommended in the fitness industry. It's going to help reduce things like joint pain and muscle soreness. It's gonna help with your recovery. And it's just got a whole lot of benefits when it comes to fitness and your overall health. So I think it's a great supplement to have if you're trying to push weights in the gym and you still wanna take care of your body and make sure that you recover well. Now the reason I'm talking about fish oil at the same time is because these two work synergistically together. The research suggests that when you take the two of them together, the anti-inflammatory effects are even stronger. And curcumin also is likely absorbed better when you take it with some fat. So it's an easy thing to remember when you take your curcumin, take it with some fish oil. And then you've got the double whammy anti-inflammatory effects and hopefully your joints will feel better when you're training and you'll recover better, which means you can train harder. In terms of dosages, I take about a thousand milligrams of curcumin and about a gram of fish oil. And in terms of timing, it really doesn't matter. But for me, I usually take it first thing in the morning with my breakfast because it tends to reduce pain quite significantly and so I just find that my elbows are less likely to play up during a workout if I take it a few hours before I work out because then it's in my system and it seems to be doing its thing. The final supplement I wanna talk about are pre-workouts. Now you absolutely do not need to take a pre-workout but I think there are things about being in our 40s that make a pre-workout helpful. So you will know if you're in your 40s that your energy is just not what it used to be you'll probably be struggling with motivation a lot of the times because life can be super stressful and busy in our 40s. And a pre-workout can help with all of those things. A pre-workout is going to help with motivation. It's going to help you feel a little bit more perkier while you're training. And a good one should also help with your recovery. Now I've talked about pre-workouts before on this channel, so you can check those videos out. I'll link to one of them at the end of this video if you want to learn more. 
But basically what you should be looking for is an all natural pre-workout, which has about 100 to 150 milligrams of caffeine at the most. Don't make the mistake of investing in those pre-workouts that you find in the fitness stores, those ones that are created for men with names like Renegade and The Curse. Those ones are pretty terrible for women. They can have about 400 milligrams of caffeine, which is way more than most of us should be having in a day. And a lot of women feel sick and crash from taking them. So when I'm talking about pre-workouts, I'm definitely not talking about those. I'm talking about the more natural, holistic ones that are becoming increasingly easier to find. I've shown you the one that I take before on this channel. At the moment, I'm loving this White Wolf pre-workout. This is an Australian brand. This one has worked so well for me compared to pretty much any other pre-workout I've taken. It has a lot of stuff in it for recovery. And one of the things I have noticed when I'm taking this one is I do feel a little better after my workouts than I have in the past when I've been taking other pre-workouts. It is on the expensive side. There are cheaper ones out there, but this is my recommendation if you're in New Zealand and Australia. In North America, I have taken the Vega Energizer, I think it's called at the moment. So Vega has a pre-workout and it's been pretty good. I don't think it gives me quite the boost that I get from the White Wolf, but I think overall that's a pretty good, nice, gentle pre-workout supplement that you can check out if you're just getting started with them. And usually the way that you use a pre-workout is you have it on your way to the gym, sort of about that 20 to 15 minutes before you work out, and then it'll be in your system while you're training. So those are my recommendations for supplements to help you get an edge when you're trying to build muscle in your 40s. Before I let you go, I wanted to remind you that I have some awesome online training programs. If you want some help with your training and building muscle after 40, I'll leave a link to them in the description of this video and you can check them out after watching. I have home and gym versions and I cater to all levels and it's very interactive and you're supported by me the whole time. So it's a great way to build muscle and transform your body after 40. I hope that you found this video useful. As always, leave me questions in the comments. I'm happy to answer them there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.